What's going on, my PT peeps? I'm a Walking Dead family. One eye Bri back from the PT channel to talk about Fear the Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 8, the mid season finale. So if you haven't seen it, you're worried about spoilers, stop watching now as we're going to discuss it. What was good about it? What was bad about it? What really was annoying and frustrating? A lot of things to talk about for Season 4, Episode 8. As always, guys, let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. I'm interested to know what you thought of the episode. But if you love The Walking Dead and you're new to the channel, join our Walking Dead family, The Walking Dead Universe, so that's Fear of the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead. Just hit that subscribe button, and I hope you do. Now, Season 4, Episode 8, No One's Gone. Madison fights to preserve the life she worked so hard to build. Morgan tries to do the right thing. So obviously, we saw what happened with Madison. Kind of confusing? This whole season has been confusing. We saw this part right here where Madison meets up with Strand, Alicia, and Luciana. And I guess that was supposed to be the connecting point from season three to season four. But as we saw this whole season, it jumped around from then and now and then and now. And let's introduce Morgan and John and new characters when there was no clear connection from season three's finale to the premiere of season four, even at some point in season four. So from the dam in Mexico to the stadium in Texas, we still don't have a clear cut picture, but I'm guessing Madison on the radio at the little hotel found Alicia, Strand, and Luciana, which kind of doesn't make sense because you're like, what's Luciana doing here? That would be pretty weird, right? Oh, and Nick was there too, I forgot. But ultimately, that's what the show did this season. No clear connections, jumped around too much, very confusing. So they killed off Nick, they killed off Madison, and I guess they're clearing house for the second half of season four and maybe season five if we get one. What happens with the future of the show? I don't know, but people can't like the fact that Madison died the way she did. Some people might not even know that she actually died. If you didn't watch The Talking Dead, you didn't really find out that she died because it was kind of a guessing game. The whole Althea versus Alicia just was pretty annoying. I'm glad John survived. John is my favorite character, probably of the series. I like Daniel, and I like Travis towards the end. But John is clearly the favorite in my eyes. I think a lot of people agree. So I'm glad he survived. That would have been really stupid. But obviously, they're making the new characters be the focal point. And we'll see how it plays out. But the walkers were pretty cool, especially... The burned up charred walkers, you could see their hands with their tendons and their muscles all burned and charred up. Pretty cool stuff. The fight between Alicia and Althea was just annoying to watch. Alicia has been pretty annoying in my eyes because she's just been attacking our group, our people. So it's kind of like, Alicia, what are you doing? Why is it infighting? And it's just awkward and annoying to see Alicia fighting the new characters, almost like what are we doing here? Why are we watching this? I don't want to watch our characters that we're supposed to care about fight each other. It's just awkward. But Alicia's been doing some pretty annoying stuff, and we kind of can find out why. But it's just kind of annoying that you're attacking the people that we're supposed to like. Not sure what they're going to do with that. But we have Alicia, Strand, and Luciana from the original people. And we'll see what happens if Daniel's around. Because there's a rumor that he is. Or the producer said that he is. And also Walker might be coming back around. But Strand and other characters. We'll see if they can do anything worthwhile. Strand's a pretty complex character. And he's doing what he needs to survive. I kind of like him. But he's not really doing anything that's like, man, he's great. We'll see what happens. Maybe he leaves. Maybe he does something else. But I think they gave Coleman Domingo more responsibilities. He directed an episode in the second half of season four. So we'll see what happens there. I think they're running out of ideas with Luciana. I liked her in season two. But now that Nick's gone, not sure her purpose. And there's been several times that I've been like, I can't understand what she's saying. The lines aren't clear. Charlie's still there. That's pretty annoying that Charlie killed Nick. And Alicia wants to kill Charlie, and she wants to kill Naomi, or Lara, or, well, it's June now. Which is ridiculous that you have three names for one character. But I could see Alicia wanting to kill Charlie and get revenge. I could understand that. And Charlie's going to be around, because you know what? This show keeps around annoying characters, and The Walking Dead as well, keeps annoying characters around that we don't want to see and don't want to have around for way longer than characters that we like, or love, or care about. 
but Charlie's going to stick around for some reason. That's the writer's big way of doing it, keeping Charlie around. But June, which is kind of crazy that you're going to have one character have three different names. Enough of that. Just go forward. June, even though I like Naomi better for the character, but June and Morgan, Athea, John, Charlie, the new characters. We'll see what happens, if it makes sense. But I like the stadium idea. And I know it was a working stadium, a baseball stadium, so they couldn't stay there forever. But they got to go out somewhere else and continue the voyage and the writing of them. Okay, you're going to be here half a season, and in the second half, you're doing something else. Half a season, and then something else. Just like every other season of Fear the Walking Dead. So June is her name. Do you like her? Do you not like her? She's okay. I like Jenna Elfman. I think she's interesting. But we'll see what the purpose of all these characters coming together going forward is. Are we going to meet a new group? Another bad group? Are they just going to try to survive? Not sure what's happening. So clearly Althea's camera is the connecting point between everybody. Which is a different little take. Kind of interesting. Pretty cool. But I got questions. One, how many tapes you got? Because you're going to run out of tapes. What do you have, a warehouse full of tapes somewhere, blank tapes to record all these people? Because you're writing on top of the case one person's interview. So the tape is going to be one person's interview. And the big twist, well, besides Madison dying, which we'll talk about in a second, was that Althea actually met Madison before all these people. And Alicia found the tape, and she knew this because of the word Amina on there, which, you know, is... Kind of a connection, but either way, that's the way they connected it, and they knew this and that, and could connect the old with the new, and it was kind of interesting. But I just would have loved to have seen an Abraham or Abraham's army tape with an Abraham, Rosita, Eugene, and part of their group before they left Texas. That would have been pretty awesome, but we didn't get it. We still could, but we just haven't seen it yet. This whole interaction here was like, all right, Alicia's not going to kill Naomi. Well, at the time, Naomi, June, and. Morgan's got a way to talk people down, but it's pretty ridiculous. Alicia doesn't know Morgan. Why would she even care? Obviously, Alicia did not want to actually kill Naomi. She was just going through a lot and she was frustrated and she was upset and she wanted to do that because if she really wanted to, she would have killed Morgan and then Naomi. And you're like, all right, not really sure that I'm buying that. But Morgan did his Jedi mind trick and was like, you do not want to kill anybody. And she didn't. And it didn't want to see another person die, but we see Strand and Alicia and Luciana as the final three original cast. And, well, Luciana came in season two, so she's not even the original cast. These two are the original cast that we'll see how long they last. I think they like being on the show. We'll see if it makes sense. This whole interaction here of them each saying a line of <laughs> during the interview was comical. I had to laugh. And it was supposed to be sad. And it's a shame because the way it was done was pretty poor. The writing was pretty poor. The connection was pretty poor. The episode was pretty poor. The Madison death was pretty weak. And during the interview, they're talking about what happened at the stadium, how the stadium fell and all the walkers and everything. And then Madison's got the flare and she's got one flare and she directs thousands of walkers from the cars, from the people into the stadium. And then they're just telling you what happened. Like, you don't know exactly the specifics. You were in a car so many feet away. How would you know exactly what happened? But that's the way it went. I guess all those other people died from the stadium. Alicia and Strand and them got away. Mel took the car. And it was just like, what is this? I'm not buying this at all. And then the way Madison went out, you're like, oh, is she alive? She had the flare. She threw it down. And the flames went up. All the walkers ignited. The grass ignited, but we didn't see Madison die. But the general rule is if you don't see the character die, they could still be alive. Remember Daniel from season two? Lit the whole house on fire, somehow got out, saw him in season three. He got shot in season three. We haven't seen him yet. And the word is that he's potentially alive. Some of the producers said that he's still alive. We may see him this season, and I hope so. But we didn't see Madison die, but then she wrote this on Instagram. KG Dickens, it's been an honor to play such a strong, badass, empowered, fierce leader. I miss playing Madison Clark, but she will always be with me because it's me. Thank you all for watching. Plus, she was on Talking Dead, so I'm guessing it's pretty much confirmed that Madison Clark died at the stadium that we didn't see off camera. Pretty annoying stuff. Kind of like the Carl bite. 
I just hope they don't do that to Rick Grimes. They could do it. I hope not. That would be pretty crappy. Because the writing of a character death, of a lead character death, needs to be strong, everlasting, and just stay with you. Madison's death was pretty poor. We didn't even see it happen. I guess they didn't want to have her burned alive or ripped to shreds by the walkers, which I didn't want to see that either, but I just want to see the character go out in a better way, guys. So that's my review and discussion about the season four mid-season finale. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like, share, subscribe, and comment. Remember, guys, with hard work, dedication, and belief, you can achieve your goals. I truly believe that. Believe in yourself. If you can dream it, you can do it.